Dawn revealed that Mississippi River navigation manuals were useless. Islands were missing, submerged logs rose to the water's surface to block channels, and riverbanks had disintegrated. The New Orleans, one of the first steamboats ever to ply the river, was north of New Madrid during the first shock. Like many Euro-Americans west of the Appalachians awakened by the shaking, the crew of the boat first supposed that the din was a Native American attack. As the boat passed through New Madrid, crowds from the bank begged to be taken aboard. People in houses already had been swallowed, and they hoped that it would be safer to ride out the shocks while traveling downstream. So Native American people thought of earthquakes both as cycles of, as natural cycles of rebalancing, and also as more direct warnings for the need to uh, renew rituals or uh, address certain imbalances in human affairs. And among Creeks and Cherokees and also in the United States, there were prophetic leaders who wanted to bind religious and political authority together tightly to redirect the course of their nations. And they used the earthquakes as part of that platform to say, turn to me. Um, I know how to control or mediate or predict the natural forces that are creating this disorder. And at the same time, within each of these nations, in the Ohio Valley among Native Americans, in the Creek and Cherokee nations in the Southeast and in the United States, there were other leaders that were saying, these people are being alarmist and opportunistic, right? So there's, there's conflict within these nations um, about the status of these prophets. So as people are wrestling with the possibility of connections between natural order and human affairs, as they're wondering whether this is a sign of divine disfavor with the course of various nations at the time, you know, we look at that and we, you know, we, we look at that from 200 years later and, and our understanding of earthquakes has changed. Um, but when you think about the possibility of the direct links between human-induced climate change and, and the many ways in which the earth has been speaking back to humans, we aren't all that removed from these people.